Evunda watate wakoa wamawe waromelelete wawo wandi maluwa na ravi ya we ya we ya mamuli kili kama Kiva, what's up? Oh Eric, this tree is blocking the sunshine from my crops. I'm gonna push it until it falls over. This reminds me of the story between the Iroko tree, the stick insect, and the millipede. The millipede and the stick insect? What happened to them? Did they fight? On its way to the market, the millipede saw a stick insect on the giant Iroko tree. And it was pushing it. The millipede stopped and asked the stick insect, Excuse me, what are you doing? And the stick insect says, This tree has been blocking my sun. My crops cannot grow. I am going to push this tree until it falls to the ground. <laughs> I mean, look at you. Look at how small you are. Look at the size of that tree. By the time you push that tree to the ground, you will be gone and your generation will be gone. And the millipede went away. Six months later, on its way back, it comes across the stick insect pushing that tree. Is that not the same spot you've been pushing that tree? It hasn't moved. You know, the millipede begged the gods. It said, please remove my ears. Remove my eyes because I do not wish to see or hear what the stick insect is doing to that tree. So Kiva, my question to you is, can blindness, can blindness be desired? If so, what have those eyes seen to desire to see no more? Enulia mato enulia miro na ravi ya we ya we ya mamuli kili kama. Eric, Odui. Kiva Odui, dio huyuval. Did you know the stick insect and the millipede became good friends after? Wow. One day the stick insect was being chased by thugs. He ran up to the millipede's house. Knock, knock, knock. Who's there? The millipede said. It's me, the stick insect, your friend. I'm being chased. They're going to kill me. OK, just a minute. Let me put on my shoes. <laughs>